Good morning, today's lesson is 11.2. Today we're gonna to explore surface area using nets. Our essential question, what is the relationship between a net and the surface area of a prism? Let's connect. The surface area of a solid figure is the sum of the areas of all the faces or surfaces of the figure. Surface area is measured in square units. You can use a net to help you find the surface area of a solid figure. So it's the area of this side, that side, the one underneath, the one on the other side, this one, and that one. So you have to add them all up. So a box is shaped like a rectangular prism. The box is 8 centimeters long, 6 centimeters wide, and 4 centimeters high. What is the surface area of the box? Well, first we're going to draw a net prism on a centimeter grid paper. Um, it asks us to cut out the net so that you can reform it and make sure it's correct. Then fold the net to confirm that it represents the rectangular prism measuring 8 centimeters by 6 centimeters by 4 centimeters. And then you're just going to count the grid squares. So let's look at those now. So here's my grid. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do these two side pieces first because they're going to be the same. They're going to be 4 centimeters by 6 centimeters. So I went ahead and drew this piece right here. And if you look, there's 1, 2, 3, 4 centimeters by 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And on this, if you look at your net, there's going to be two of them, one on this side and one on that side. So I'm going to write a times 2 since I can't really cut my paper here on this video. Okay, now that we've done that side, let me erase this. So we have did both of those sides. So I'm going to kind of color it in. Now let's do this side. And again, there's one on this side and there's one on the other side that's just like it. And this one's eight centimeters by six centimeters. Nope, sorry. This one's eight centimeters by the height, which is four centimeters, right? So we're gonna go over eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And down four. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna connect them. Okay, so this one is eight centimeters by four centimeters. And this is our side, and again, there's going to be two of these. And then finally, so we did both of these sides, right? We did both of these sides. On the other side, you can see it. Now we're going to do this top and the one that's on the bottom. And this one, if you look, the dimension for this is six centimeters, and across is eight centimeters. So I know this looks totally different than what I had before, but it's just because I ran out of room and I couldn't fit them all. So I'm going to kind of color coordinate this so you can see. So these sides right here, I'm coloring it red. This is the four by six. And remember, there's one on this side and then there's one on this side. So this is my four by six square. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, and then I'm going to color coordinate this next one, this side, green. So you can see that I just drew it out here. And remember, what, there's one on this side and there's one on that side. So this one is eight this way, and then it's tall, so it's four this way. So that's this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, and then the last one, I'm going to make it blue. That's this top one. And again, there's one on the bottom. So remember, this side right here is eight. And then you've got this side right here, which is six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, when you're counting them for the surface area, you're literally just going to count the squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. So there are thirty-two squares here. And then on this one, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There are 24 on this one. And then on this other face, 
There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So there's 48 here. Now remember, there are two of each of these. Because there's two blues, there's two reds, there's two greens. So there's 32 times 2, 24 times 2, and 48 times 2. So in order to find the total surface area of this shape, I need to take 32 times 2, which is 64. And then I'm going to add, actually I'll keep color coordinating this. All right. So the greens, there are 64 of the greens. Whoops. 64 of the greens. And then the reds, there are 24 plus, or times 2, which is 48. So plus 48. And then plus the blues, there are 48 times 2. 48 times 2 is 96. So then I just add these three together and that's gonna give me the total surface area. 64 plus 48 plus 96 is 208. So the surface area is 208. Let me put that over. So the surface area is 208 centimeters. And let's move this up. Explain how you used a net to find the surface area of the box. So I counted the grid squares on each face, and then I found the sum of the grid squares on all six faces. Think smarter. Describe how you would find the area of each face of the prism without cr counting the grid squares on the net. So you could find the product of length and width of each face and then add them together. So for example, if this was six times three, I would do six times three, which is 18. So this one square is 18. Remember, there's another one on this side that's 18. So we do 18 plus the 18. And then if this one was 6, and let's say this one was 12 or 10, 6 times 10 is 60. So then you would have plus 60, and you would have this side plus 60. And then you'd have to do this side over here. And it's 3 times 10, which is 30, plus 30 plus 30, and then you would just add them all together to get what your total was. So you can also use a formula for the area of a rectangle to find the surface area of a box. So to find the surface area of a box, we're going to investigate which measures. So this is 8 centimeters by 6 centimeters by 4 centimeters. So they basically took that box and they made, um, they opened it up. But again, it still has the same components. And they labeled them. So A and E are the exact same size, D and B are the exact same size. Actually, I'm gonna color coordinate this like I did before. D and B are the exact same, and then C and F are gonna be the exact same. So again, my box is eight centimeters by four centimeters, or by, Okay, so this is four centimeters. They're labeling it. That's four centimeters. That one's six. Okay, I'm looking down here. This one right here, look, see, it's the same side as right there. So this one's going to be four centimeters. And then right here, it's the same side as right there, which is going to be six centimeters. And then right here, this one is the same side as right there. You can see it. It's four centimeters. And then this one right here is the bigger one. This is going to be six centimeters. And then this one is the same side as right here, so this is going to be 8 centimeters. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit so you can see it's easier. So on this one, they have face A, which there's my face A. Uh, go this way. So face A, which is right here, is 8 centimeters times 4 centimeters, which is 32 centimeters. Face B, so here's my face B, is 6 centimeters times 4 centimeters, and 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 4. Face C, so here's my face C. So I gotta look. This line right here is right there, right? It's 6 centimeters times this line right here, and if I look over here, that's 8 centimeters. 
and six times eight is 48 centimeters. The next one is face D. So face D is right here. I have four centimeters times six centimeters. Four times six is 24 centimeters. Face E is eight centimeters times six centimeters. Eight times six, which is 32 centimeters. And then finally, oh, that was face F, sorry. <coughs> Face F is 8 times 6, which is not 32. That is 48. This is 8 times 6. Face E is right here. Sorry about that. And face E is 4 centimeters times the 8. And 4 times 8 is 32. So then I'm going to take all of those, and I'm going to add them together. So I'm going to take 32 plus 24 plus 24 plus 32 plus 48 plus 48. So I'll get 32 plus 24, plus 24, plus 32, plus 48, plus 48. And when I add those all together, I'm gonna to get 208 centimeters squared. So use reasoning. Identify any prism faces that have equal areas. How could you use that fact to sim simplify the process of finding out the surface area of the prism? So two of the faces had areas of 48 um, centimeters squared and two had areas of 32 centimeters squared and two had areas of 24 centimeters squared. I could find the surface area by doubling the 48, the 32, and the 24 and then finding the sum of those three numbers. Um, next, describe how you would find the sum of an area of a cube. So I would first find the area of one of the faces and then I would multiply it by six because there's six sides to a cube and all the sides on a cube are the exact same size. So you're gonna do the rest of these problems the same exact way. On this one they already kind of drew it out for you so you can actually just count them if you want. On this one, so on surface A is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight centimeters, right? Or it's two by one, two, three, four, two by four, two times four is eight. So you're gonna find out the, the surface area of each of the faces, and then you're going to add them all up, and you're gonna do that on all of these problems. If you need me, I'll be on the floor. Good luck.